Hi guys! It's Tuesday and we're back to talking about our new unit, sand. So, today's question of the day is, where is sand found? And the learning target is, I can identify places where sand is found. So this is where I got it from. That's what I just read off of all these words. I'm going to show you a few pictures that have sand in it. What do you see in this picture? What does it look like? Where are we? We are at a playground. Good job. And if you see right here is a sandbox. So sometimes at playgrounds you see sandboxes. Not every playground has a sandbox though, but some playgrounds have sandboxes. What is this? I know you guys miss this. It's our sand table from school. On one side of the sand table, we have sand, and on the other side of that table, we have water. This used to be our sand and water table at school. So you can find sand in your classroom. I know you all know what this is, and I'm sure you miss me using it for cleanup time, for lineup time, for pretty much everything. It's our sand timer. Remember we just used to call it a timer? In, in um, this timer has sand, and this used to be our five minute sand timer. We used to use it when we had to line up. We used it when we had to clean up from center time. If you look close at the blue, you can actually see the sand going down, but we had the green one in our classroom. How cool. I'm gonna show you a totally different other place where you would find sand. And I wonder if you know what this is a picture of. It's a picture of a desert. How does this picture of the desert with all of this sand, and if you look closely, you can even see somebody's um, footprint in the sand right here. How does this picture of sand in the desert Look, and then look at this picture. What is this picture of? The one down here. It is a picture of a beach and a sandcastle. Look, in the desert, I don't see any water. But at the beach, I see water. In the desert, the sand looks a little bit orangey red, and at the beach, the sand is kind of a tannish beige color. Yeah, look how cool. So there's different places where we can find sand. One place is the desert. Another place is the beach. Another place is our five minute timer. Another place is in our classroom at our sand table. And finally, we can find sand in a playground. Good job, guys. So those are all the different places you can find sand in the world. Now, hi, boys and girls. So I'm back on the beach, and for today's activity, you're going to look for um, seashells at the beach, and then we're gonna make a pattern with them. If you can't go to the beach or you don't have seashells at home, you can use rocks. If you can find rocks in your neighborhood and you can make the same pattern. We're gonna do a big and a little pattern. I already walked around the beach and in this bucket, I picked out some seashells already that I'm gonna use for my pattern. So to start the pattern off, I'm gonna use this big shell and I'm gonna put it right there. Then I'm going to use this little shell and put it next to the big shell. So I have a big shell, a little shell. What do you think comes next? It's a big shell. And this shell has some seaweed on it, which we found at, which seaweed could be found at the beach. So my pattern is big, little, big. What do you think is gonna come next? Little, good job. So we have big, little, oops. Big, little, big, little big and then I'm gonna add one more little one to complete my pattern so for today 
For today's activity, you are gonna go look for seashells if your mommy and daddy brings you to the beach and try to make a pattern. If you don't have seashells, it's okay. You can use rocks from your backyard, front yard, or around your neighborhood. Bye friends, have fun. Remember to make great patterns.